Some of you know those features, but some of you don't know. Let's start with the BPM context menu. Just play back a file and wait until the BPM count, the online BPM counter uh, displays the value. As you know, we have two different calculations methods for BPM values in Ultramix. So the one is online, as you see here, and the other one is offline, as you can do it here. So, well, if you are if the value is sufficient for you, you can save it here and it goes directly into the the file. So, and here you have some further configurations for the BPM detection, uh, meaning full range or the full range. So, we go to the cue point menu. As you know, in each DJ software, you can set up cue points with the cue point with the cue button, but you can save them into cue point slots like this. On a right click here, and you can load up those cue points. So what else? We have the pitch menu. The pitch menu is quite hidden. Uh, if you click here on the on the on the written text pitch then it uh, pops up and here you can see 8%, 16% as you know from a turntable for example and furthermore we have 32%, 64% and even we have 100% uh, pitch range for the pitch slider. So and here you have uh, more configurations for uh, those buttons. So what else? We have the playlist context menu. As you have seen, I have a BPM column here. So and I when I click uh, on this button, um, menu pops up where where I can select uh, further um, information about this file. So if I don't like the BPM information, just click here and it's gone. But if I like it, it's there. Okay, so what else? I uh, we have the custom crossfader. The custom crossfader, as you know, the fading panel um, is um, about to crossfade between those uh, songs or between those two decks, and the custom crossfader is a customizable fading curve means if we select this please take a look at the green fading curve and we n we need a second song so and uh, take a look at the play button and the fading curve if it uh, crosses the green fading curve then the play button is clicked so let's do it Zack. et voila we have an so what else do we have we have the um, undock file archive menu click on this button and here we have undock file archive with the undocked file archive you you can this you can use uh, for example to uh, move it to another desktop display to a second screen or what else if you click here it docks again into ultra mix so and what else uh, furthermore we have the sample player loading as you know we have uh, different sample player slots but you you don't mind might know the context menu if you right click here you can load up your own files um, into the sample slot do uh, some for example a looping in the in the sample slot and so on and then last but not least we have the breakup player effect if you right click on the play button it breaks
Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for your patience. Bye bye.